Here I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to know about clearing, what it is, the key dates, and basically how to make sure that you stand out compared to the competition on results day to make sure you claim some of those few precious spots that are available through the clearing portal. At the end, I'm going to give you a really useful gift that's going to be a list to help you speed up through the clearing process when it comes to it. So let's start by looking at actually what UCAS clearing is. So it's almost like a second chance at applying to university in that academic year if you didn't get an offer for one of the university choices that you originally wanted, if you maybe did get an offer but you're not actually happy with it and don't want to take it, or you submitted your application after the 30th of June of the year that you're applying. So if you were applying to a competitive course and didn't get the offer that you were hoping for, it doesn't necessarily mean that the game is over for that year, it just means that you can go through UCAS clearing and you might still be able to get a place. On the flip side, you may have got better exam results than you expected, and that way if that happens, you can just reject the offer that was made by the original university and then apply through clearing to go through a more competitive university should you wish to do so. So if you have had an offer but you don't want to take it and want to enter UCAS clearing, all you have to do is log into your UCAS account and go through the self-release process, which basically means that you decline the offers and therefore open up the option to enter UCAS clearing. So now that you've decided that you want to go down that route, the way to find the course that you want is to go on the UCAS website and search through their clearing portal for all the courses that are available. It only opens on the 5th of July, so you can't actually have a look and speak to the universities until then. A lot of the clearing process is going to involve you phoning the universities and having a chat directly with the admissions offices. This is because they may have their own internal application systems that they want you to fill out, but more often than not, they actually just speak to you directly. They take a look at your application, you have a chat with them, and they can even give you an answer there and then on the phone. The biggest action day for this is typically on A-level results day where people maybe didn't get the grades that they were hoping for, therefore they couldn't realize their offers and universities now have some places that weren't filled that otherwise they had reserved that they might be able to offer to you. So it's really good to have your results ready and your application, your personal statement to hand so that they can go through that and have a look to see whether they can offer you a place. Sometimes this can be direct or other times, as I say, they may have their own application form that they have to submit and then they will review and get back to you within a week. If you're not going for your standard medicine or dentistry and you're not particularly sure of the course that you want to go for, you can make use of the UCAS clearing search tool where you can look at all of the courses that a particular university offers through clearing and you might want to think of kind of adjacent courses or maybe even combination courses where it's actually covering two subjects and one of those is the one that you initially wanted to go for. But if you are going for something like medicine or dentistry, it is so important that on results day, as soon as you have the results and know exactly where you can apply for and you're eligible for, that you are ready with the numbers and call them as soon as possible to make sure that you're one of the first people getting through to them to increase your chances of success. What I would recommend that you do is actually create a spreadsheet where you have all the numbers for all the medical and dental schools and actually have their results requirements there for their A-levels. So when you get your score, you know that you're eligible for certain universities and know which ones you're able to apply to and worth ringing. What's important to note that although there is a portal where you can apply online, the majority of the success comes from talking directly to people on the phone via the admissions staff. This is pretty much exclusively true when it comes to medicine and dentistry. You really need to be on the phone to them. Remember that you can only apply for one clearing spot at a time, so don't waste your time with people if they're going, saying that you're going to be rejected. Usually they will give you an answer directly on the phone, otherwise they say often that they'll call you back in a couple of hours and give you a definitive answer. Ultimately, if you don't get in, you can always regroup and reapply for the next year. On our Future Doc Elite coaching program, we have taken both medics and dentists who are applying for the second, third, or even fourth time and have had three failed attempts before they've come to us and we've looked very closely at their application, what they did maybe wrong the years before, what they can improve. We've actually taken their application tweaked it and helped them apply after three failed attempts even sometimes and help them get there on the fourth attempt of application when they've gone through our one-on-one -on -one coaching program. If you want to find out more about how you can do that, you can check that out here. Also, if you look in the description, I've given you a list of all the medical and dental school clearing numbers that you can look at, as well as the grades that they require. So when it comes to A-level results day, you can simply just scour that list, have a look at where you lie on the results, so who you're eligible for, 
then you can phone them directly, be as quick as you can so you can be one of the first people there to claim one of those clearing spots. And then that way that gives you the best chance of getting in. Like I say, if you want to find out where you can get more help to make your application stronger for a second attempt, you can check out this video here. Or if you need help with things like the UCAT or general interview tips, or maybe your personal statement wasn't up to scratch, have a look at this video here where I direct you to all the resources that are available on our channel for free and how we can help you improve your application. Thanks for watching, best of luck with the clearing, and I'll see you in one of those videos if you need it. Take care.